Welcome to the SLC Tuck Shop. Gain access to the site, an account must be created. After entering personal details such as the user's name and email, they must select a role, either student, parent or staff. This will define what features the created account will have access to whilst using the site. Furthermore, a schoolhouse must also be selected so that online staff members can correctly identify users. Clicking the sign up button will insert these details into a database called users. After logging in, users can place orders by clicking the Shop Now button where they can view the online menu. Clicking the Add to Cart button will add their selected item to the shopping cart, where users can then see the name of what they're buying, the quantity and the price. They also have the option of inputting a custom quantity to order. Clicking the Confirm button will redirect users to the payment page, where they can view their cart with the quantity and price of items, as well as the subtotal of their purchase. They can also select what time they would like their order to be ready for pickup. Upon placing the order, their funds will be checked to ensure they have enough money on their account to purchase their cart. If the user doesn't have sufficient funds, all they must do is update their account balance to a sufficient amount and then replace their saved order. Once the user has a sufficient balance, they will be given a success message and prompted that an email regarding their order will be sent to them. Staff members can view the recorded financial earnings of the tuck shop, which show the products sold along with the total earnings and purchases thus far. Staff members also have the unique ability to view the tuck shop stock records, which display the product and how many of them are still in stock. They can also add or update the stock using the CRUD page. This is where staff can create, read, update and delete menu items. Clicking the edit button will allow the staff member to input and update any existing information regarding a product. To add a new product, all fields must be filled in and be valid. By adding a new product, it will be added to the online menu and will then become an orderable item. Items can also be deleted from the menu using the delete button, which erases the item from the menu completely. TuckShop staff can also see all processing orders. When an order is ready for pickup, simply select ready for pickup and then click update. An email will be sent to the user telling them that their order is ready for pickup. Just as easily, staff can also delete the processing orders if they see fit. Staff members can also see pending staff account requests. If a staff member accepts a pending user, that user will gain staff privileges. If they are declined, they will simply remain a student. A parent account has the unique ability to place purchase restrictions onto a student's account. A spending limit can be set via selecting the user's son's account, then inserting a daily spending limit. Allergies can also be put in place by parents to ensure that students don't order products on the menu which have particular ingredients. The final restriction that parents can place on their son's accounts is an item moderation list. Parents can ban particular tuck shop items from the student's account. By banning an item, it won't be shown on the available menu to the student. Parents can also unban these items if they wish. Every single site user has the ability to update their account details. They can change their first name, last name and house. After clicking the update button, they will see a success message and then their name will be updated so it can be seen in the account menu in the top right hand corner. Users can also log out of their account using the account menu, as well as if they want, they can also delete their account. They will be prompted before deleting their account. If they click yes, the account will be deleted and they will be redirected to the register page to sign up again. Thank you for listening.